Acts chapter 4, verses 13 through 16, but to actually uh, bear the truth that I want to bring out from Acts chapter 4, verses 13 through 16, we would actually have to go back to Acts chapter 3 and record this miracle which the religious leaders of this day wanted to, uh, of their particular day, uh, wanted to refute. Acts, Acts chapter 3, verse 1, it's recorded. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms. That means he was asking for gifts, he was asking for money, he was asking for handouts. To ask alms of them that entered into the tem temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Uh, in the, that word, in the name of, it's actually talking about in the authority of, or exousia. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he leaped up, stood, and walked, he, and stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was he which sat at arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto them. Unto him, and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. Uh, this is the actual events that happened. They healed this lame man, and there was a tumult. Everybody knew who this man was. There was just so much excitement over the healing of the lame man, and that no one could refute this miracle. And, and it was just uh, what you didn't expect to happen is you go one chapter later to Acts 4, verses 13 through 16. Uh, it said, now when they saw, this is speaking of the religious leaders, now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they were not men of letters, they were not from their rabbinical, school, rabbinical schools, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which is, was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against them. The religious leaders of this day, they wanted to refute the power uh, uh, that they spoke of, or what these men spoke of. They wanted to refute the existence of Jesus Christ. But this particular text in Acts chapter 4, verse 14, it records, And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against them. While they wanted to refute Peter and John's work.